In this project, we're going to build a Traveler Copilot app, which is an AI-powered app for easy language and image translation. For this use case, let's consider Sam. He's a frequent traveler who faces common challenges when visiting foreign countries. Sam would like to easily navigate in conversations with locals to gain more authentic cultural experiences. However, language barriers exist, often making it difficult to communicate and connect meaningfully. Additionally, even simple tasks like navigating restaurant menus or understanding road signs become frustrating when you can't understand the language. The inability to speak, read, or understand the local language can severely limit Sam's ability to travel independently and confidently. This is where the Traveler Copilot comes in. It is a Telegram bot that will help Sam navigate better in a foreign country. It offers seamless speech-to-speech -speech translation that allows Sam to communicate in any of 55 supported languages. The AI instantly translates spoken words into the tar language, target language and enables seamless cross-language conversations. This capability also breaks down language barriers and helps effective communication between individuals. It also offers visual translation that allows Sam to capture images containing text and the AI will recognize and translate the text into the desired language. So let's go ahead and see what uh, this uh, app will look like in practice with a mobile demonstration. Where is the bus stop? In bus history, stock this trip. So now that we've seen a demo of it, now let's take an overview of the workflow and how this app is implemented. So first, the node on the uh, leftmost here, that's a Telegram trigger that monitors for incoming messages uh, to your Telegram bot. The next node is a setting no settings node that we can specify which languages we're interested in translating to and from. The switch node determines if it's audio or images or photos, and then routes it to the respective path. At the top path, is where we'll do a uh, speech to text with the open AI uh, model, and then also text to speech uh, coming back after the translation and then uh, replying uh, with, with the uh, translated text. Now on the bottom path, uh, we will we'll use the anthropotropic Claude 3 models uh, to help uh, go from an image to text and translation. So it'll go down the lower path. And lastly, on the right here is uh, both uh, the, um, the audio response as well as the text response. But before we can build this, uh, we'll need to access uh, Telegram uh, with a token. So I've outlined the process here. It's quite simple. Uh, so we go to uh, our Telegram app, look for this uh, bot father uh, bot, and then we create our new bot like this. So let's go ahead and create a token. All right, so let's go ahead and find the bot father. So we'll do this. And then uh, I'm just going to clear this out. I did this uh, in the previous test. So I'm just going to go slash new bot. OK, or I'm going to call it Traveler Copilot. All right, and I'm going to choose a name for it. I will just name it Traveler Copilot Bot. All right, that's it. I am going to just copy this token, and then I'll use that in my N810 node. We'll need one more thing uh, to get this project uh, set up. So we'll need to get an API key from the Anthropotropic uh, site, which will give us access to the Claude 3 uh, models with uh, vision capabilities. So I just go up to here and then get started and then uh, get an API key. Okay, let's start building. So I'll start from scratch and I'm gonna first add my Telegram trigger. So I want to, uh, on message, all right? So whenever uh, I get a message, then I want uh, this flow to be triggered. And I'm going to uh, do a settings node. So this is where I can set things like uh, I had here 
uh, language native. So that's the language that I want to, that I uh, am originating from. So this is, let's say English. And then I will add here language translate. So that's language I want to translate to. So let's say J Japanese. All right. So next I'm going to uh, do a, tr um, do the next node, uh, which is a switch node. So I want to uh, look at two paths. The top path here is going to uh, be the, the speech to text and then back to text to speech. So I want to go down that path. And then bottom path here is uh, my, uh, my image translation. So I am uh, actually, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to save this and then I'm going to uh, listen I'll test and then I'll, I will listen. Um, so I, I mean, just just before I do that, um, I've already inputted my uh, Telegram access token. So from uh, the previous step. So uh, if you haven't done that, uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna uh, do a test step, and this will listen to uh, the the Telegram message. So I will go into my Telegram. So go into here in my Telegram, and I'm just gonna uh, say something. How do I get to there? All right, so it's got the message uh, that I got from uh, Telegram. So now I have this information that can flow into this edit field. So I'll rename this edit field to settings. All right, so in my switch, what I'm going to do is from my trigger node, oops, sorry, I, I meant to rename this to. Uh, Telegram. And here I'll put here my settings. Okay, and here I'm going to rename this to switch. Okay. All right. So in here I will say from my Telegram node, I will look at the value. So if I have a file ID, all right, I'll try this here. So if I have a file ID, that means that uh, I have a, a uh, so if this string exists, all right, then I'm going to rename the output and it is voice. Okay. All right. So next I'm going to, uh, test it again, but now this time I'm going to input an image. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn this into a test step, and then I will go to my Telegram, and I will attach an image. So I'll go ahead and attach an image. All right, so now I have uh, how the message would look like for an image. So I will have this in my switch node as well, so I'll execute the settings, and now I have uh, what's in the Telegram node. All right, so in here, I'm going to add another writing rule, and I'm going to say that uh, if there is a photo, all right, so I will, so I will uh, take one of these uh, photos. So the reason why there's uh, three slots here is because it's just different sizes. So I'll take the medium size here, and I'll drag and drop the ID in here. So if it's not empty, then I know that it's going to be an image. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, test this step, and it's just going to output that uh, it's identified that it's image route. Okay, so good. Um, now let's build uh, the top flow first. Uh, so I'm going to uh, take a, the voice and then I'm going to uh, get the, uh, the the file, the, the audio file, and then I'm going to process it with the OpenAI nodes. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly get that voice message again. So I'll start listening and then I'll have a message. Where is the bus? All right, so I've gotten now the message here. And now if you look at here, it's gonna tell me that it's voice, all right? So I'll build up this path. Um, I'm going to add a node here and it's gonna be a Telegram node. And in this Telegram node, I'm gonna go and uh, uh, download the file. So download. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a file. And in the file, I'm gonna do a get and my it's uh, my file ID uh, will come from here, right? So I'll put the file ID here, and then I'll do a test step, and it's downloaded it, all right? So good, I've downloaded the file. 
So now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I will do a uh, uh, a speech to text. So I'll go and use my OpenAI node here, and I'm going to use uh, transcribe a recording, right? So I got my OpenAI account, and I'm going to transcribe it. So I will test the step, All right? So I, that's the text that I had sent. And now the next node is uh, going to be a translate node, OK? All right, now I'm going to use uh, an advanced AI node. So this is uh, a basic uh, large language model chain that I can use. So I will specify in here that I'm going to define my prompt below. And this prompt is going to be like this, All right? I'll explain it after I copy it here, OK? So detect the language of the text. So uh, from the settings node, I'm going to take the native uh, language settings. So uh, what's the language that uh, kind of like the, the from language? And then I'm going to take the you know, translate to language, right? So if it's English, it's going to translate to Japanese. If it's Japanese, it's going to translate to English, right? And then if uh, in the output, just provide the translation, don't explain it. So it just makes it a little easier to clean things up. And then what I'm going to translate is this text, which I've just gotten from the previous node. So json.txt. All right, so let's execute that. Uh, let me just delete the chat trigger. All right, I'll add in my OpenAI model, chat model. So go in here, I'll use the turbo. And then let's go in here and start testing it. OK, and then now we have the translated text to Japanese. Perfect. All right, uh, now we are going to take the Japanese, and then we're going to translate that uh, from uh, text to speech. So I will go to OpenAI node. And it's going to uh, generate a audio. And from here, I will take the text input here. And I will generate audio. OK, so I can choose the, the voice I want. There's one of six voices here. Um, and now, now that I have uh, generated the uh, uh, audio, now I'm going to now uh, I'm going to uh, use my Telegram, and I will send audio. All right, so I'll go ahead and send audio. And the chat ID I'm going to uh, get from my Telegram node here, chat ID. And then the audio is uh, from is a binary file, and it's from the previous node. All right, so go ahead and do that, and let's generate the audio. Okay, now I'm going to also. Uh, uh, I'll put text as well. So I will have a text node. So I will send text. And I will go to my OpenAI node and oops, get the output of it and drag it into here. Right? That way, I'll have both the, the text and the audio. And then the chat ID, I'll get back from my initial node, right? So I will get my chat ID here, All right? I'll do a test step. And all right, then I've also got uh, the text message uh, in my Telegram. OK, so uh, this is the first uh, part of the of the two-part build. So I, it's the top part here. So just a brief recap of what we've done. We've uh, uh, detected that it's a voice, and then we've taken Telegram here to get the voice file. We've used OpenAI to transcribe the recording, and then we've uh, translated here with this node here. And then uh, we take the translation, and then we put an audio, we generate the, the audio audible from here, and then send it back to Telegram. And uh, here, actually, uh, we should delete this file here and just drag it directly to here. All right. So this uh, sends the audio message, and this sends the text message. OK, now let's uh, build the lower part. Uh, so we're going to build the image translation part. right? So I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to uh, copy this uh, Telegram node here. I'll duplicate that because uh, I want to get the file. So I'll go into here, and I want to get the file. right? But uh, this file, I want to uh, get uh, not voice, but image. So I will go back to my Telegram node. And this will be an image. So let me just go back here. All right. So it's going to be an image file. All right. 
And then what I'm going to do with this is uh, actually let, let me let me just now uh, get an image. So I'll listen and I'll send an image out. So I'm going to my Telegram file, our Telegram uh, application, and I'm just going to send an image. All right. So so now I have an image, and I'll flow through the, the data here, and then. All right. So I will have my uh, file ID, and then I'm going to. Uh, all right. I'll just go ahead and test this step. So this will download the image. So now that I have the image downloaded, I'm going to go into here and uh, do, again, advanced AI node here. And I'm going to do a basic LLM chain. And I'm going to uh, define below. And I'm going to add a user message. And inside the user message, it's going to uh, be a binary. So I'm going to send a binary, and it's going to come from here. And then I'm just going to he say here, translate the image to, and then uh, English, let's say. But let, let's do that properly. Let's just go back to my settings and then translate it to the native language that is specified. All right. So translate the image to English. OK. So I will delete this trigger, add in my cloud model. So I'll use the Haku model. All right. So I'll execute. Let me just execute this. All right, so it's uh, going to translate uh, something. I translate my, uh, let's say, my Japanese uh, um, image, and then it's going to output. All right, so I have this here. And then uh, I wanted to send that into a text. All right, so let me try this out with a Japanese menu. So in my Telegram step, uh, I'm going to uh, give it a, a Japanese menu. All right, and then uh, I will send it. So it's uh, received it. And then uh, let me just blow through this, blow through this. So I've got the file. And then now I'm going to translate this. All right, so it's going to send the file to Claude 3. And then uh, it, it uh, translates, uh, translated all uh, the menu to uh, Japanese, to from Japanese to English. And then here is last step. It sent that out uh, to text. Okay, so uh, you know it's a, a quite an interesting build. Uh, you're able to uh, use various uh, aspects of different large language model capabilities, transcribing uh, from uh, from audio to text, and from uh, text to audio. And then also here, this is the image translation.